to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, welcome back, Wi-Fi, to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Why do you ask? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs> And click the notification bell for notifications of when I go live and upload new transmissions. Why, guys, today we're going to talk because black men going to stop playing in my face, okay? Today we're going to talk about good and bad hair, good and bad hair. So you can't go on this way, see if I can. We going to talk about wannabes and jigaboos because on my podcast with Vanity the other day, he was talking about me having natural hair and yes, my hair is natural and it is mine and I made a difficult choice to lock my hair. And here's the thing, when you're a woman, there's always going to be some man somewhere that's going to desire something about you, just trusting something about you. It ain't that right? Amen. But if your goal as a woman or a man is to be desired by the masses, if you want to be universally appealing, there are certain desirability rules that one must play by. And I talked in my first season about featureism. And part of featureism is texturism. These isms control the way women are rated in their desirability. And on a side note, this dude got all in my comments saying that it wasn't about that. It's about our attitudes. It's about the fact that we had lies, lies, all lies. And any woman like me who has been on both sides of anything that's got two minds about this thing like Kanye does, knows y'all lying. Knows y'all lying. Knows that. But there are certain things that men find more universally attractive and they're more attracted to those things because those things attract other men. Because when they get these particular women, other men sit with those men and be like, man, she bad, bro. She bad. The same reason why a man wants a Bentley or a BMW or a Benz or an Audemars or women are looked at as possessions. Yes. But as status symbols a man can move from one status class to another we heard jermaine dupree talk about how janet took him to a new class of women one of the weird things about dating janet is that dating janet attracts other women so much so to the point she became common to him it was like oh excuse me so clearly this is true. Clearly, what I'm saying is facts. It's just like Kanye's first girlfriend, Sumiki Rainey. I think that's how you say her name. The black one. He put him on status to be with Amber Rose, biracial, who put him on status to be with Kim Kardashian, white. Yes. So a woman upgrades the class of women that a man has access to. If anyone knows, it's me, baby. I, I have put some men in the game. But desirability for us is all these things that we're expected to put on. One thing I do hate about being a black woman in this whole politics of desirability is that the goalpost always moves. Every time we get it down and we become the hot girls, here comes somebody stealing our thunder all over again. Here come the boxer braids. Here comes the white women in Jamaica getting their hair braided. Like, please let us live. But here's the thing about black women. We are always something no other group of women can be. And we have to hold on to that because I'm hearing a lot of men complain about black women wearing the hair weave that they 
want them to wear. But you know why white women don't wear hair wigs? Because they can't. Because they can't. If they could, they would. And most of them do now. I want to say that they are making hair extensions now for white women to wear all the little plug-ins and the tapes and the clips and the clamps and the, they wearing it too. Okay. They putting a little track here in the back. I mean, it matches a little bit better on them than it does on us since they don't have to match their hair to the extension hair like we do, but they wearing them too. They wearing extensions as well. Everybody want to be black, but don't nobody want to be a nigga. But I'm going to show you some pictures of how I used to look when I was Joan of Arc in my former life. And there are always going to be men that are attracted to you. Don't get me wrong. No matter what you do. The men who like women with natural hair will like women with natural hair. Now, they also like women with unnatural hair, too, especially if she thick it. I can't even pass on a thick, 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 thick. Like seriously, my ex-husband loved natural hair. He was the architect. <laughs> like how Kanye, he was a Gemini too. So like how Kanye say he built Kim. He was the he was the one that he probably the only person that could have convinced me to lock my hair and go natural. And he loved natural hair. But when he met me, baby, I was in a weave. Baby, I was in a weave. Baby, I was, it didn't stop nothing. It didn't stop no attraction. Because ultimately, even in children, they measure attractiveness. Children are attracted to straight hair over curly hair. They say it's some sort of like evolutionary thing because we used to be apes. And the hair on Apes is straight like that, that even children gravitate towards straight hair as opposed to curly hair. But it's the same thing with light skin over dark skin. There, ha there will always be this chasm between what's universally considered to be attractive and what is more of a niche type of attraction. And like I said, even those that there are some that, hey, listen. When I said I see both sides, I see both sides like Chanel. You hear me? See both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. Because I have had weaves. I've had long, straight natural hair, long, textured natural hair, short, textured natural hair. I've had my hair cut completely off and maybe like a bus. I've never missed a beat with men, but there were some men. As soon as I walked in with that fade, baby, they was out. Tell me out. You know, there are some men see you in that wig, baby. And they and they make certain assumptions about who you are as a person. One thing I can say is whenever I used to have my wigs and weaves and things like that, I do think that men had a certain impression of me. And it was a turnoff that I was, you know, attractive and driven and focused because the way I was presenting myself was like I wanted to be universally attractive to men. Like I was more feminine and more docile and more. These men attach certain characteristics, certain archetypes to how we present ourselves with hair and weave and makeup. You know, I've had tons of men tell me, you wear too much makeup. And then I take it off and they be like, why you wear makeup? Like you, your skin is beautiful. You look exactly the same. Cause I can. Cause Damon, I'm a girl, and girls like to look pretty and play in makeup and wear dresses and high heels because we can. You want us to take all of it off and be what men? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Do you want to wear it? Is that the problem? Is that what's really going on? But, um, you know, mostly insecure men feel that way. But most men aren't going to tell a woman what to wear and how to dress and how to wear her hair and all that stuff unless he's trying to impress other men with a dress up doll with a woman. You know, and people use terms like match my fly, but that's really unfair to another person to expect them to a aesthetically be the same as you, especially when they may just value different things. but. I'm in a rabbit hole. Let me get out.
So I'm saying that to say, black men quit playing in our face. <laughs> we know the truth. We have the evidence as a woman who has been a victim, a casualty of texturism. I know that ain't the truth, okay? These women, whether they be black, white, or otherwise, alien, foreign, domestic, they have hair swinging down their back. And you don't judge them like you judge the black woman for doing that same exact thing. She got the hair from Malaysia. <laughs> she got the hair from a Malaysian Asian in the first place. And that's where you want to get a passport and go to get a woman whose hair grows out of her scalp naturally that way. Don't tell us that you're not attracted to that in us. If you're attracted to that in her, be real. Be real with us and be real with yourself because I promise you, if black men really wanted natural women like they say they do, women who ain't wearing lashes, women who ain't wearing nails, women who ain't wearing weave, those women would be put on. <laughs> those women would be on instead of being talked about like a dog they would be on but because y'all like blonde hair on black women because you like hair swinging to the back of our knees because you like lashes i'm a dark-skinned woman and men would say that i don't date dark-skinned women but y'all are out here spreading this thing low and wide and you ain't fooling nobody you know fool me You no know, fooling us no more. Just get secure with yourselves and stop making women feel like <laughs> we have to be anything other than who we really are. Because here's the thing, you will attract the woman that's really for you. And we can attract the men that's really for us. Hey, if a woman got a blonde weave down her back, I don't feel like I'm in competition with her. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with her doing that. I don't feel like because I have natural hair, I'm more connected to that. No, we are the lilies of the field women. Some are white, some are blue, some are tall, some are short. Some are, that is what the divinity of femininity is. It is diversity. And there are men that are going to appreciate the woman who takes all that time out and puts into her appearance to present the way that she feels most confident. Them weaves, baby, I, I just like my hair because I got tired of sitting in the hairdresser for four, five, nine, 12 hours, paying four, five, nine, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 to get my hair done. It was an economic decision <laughs> more than an aesthetic one. But as someone who's been on both sides, I can honestly say that the quantity of men that were attracted to me in my straight hair weave wig days was way greater. Now, the quality of those men. <laughs> but baby, it's dry out here for a natural woman. And I'm putting the responsibility and the power back in the hands of black men to say, if you want it, go after it. Like everything else that you want, that you've gone after. Like all the other groups of women that you want, that you're going after. If you really want natural black women, if you really want emotionally stable women, I mean, y'all say y'all want women that's going to be your peace, but you can have you a good girl and still be addicted to a hood rat. See, I can have me a good girl and still be addicted to them hood rats. Listen, we know. <laughs> we know women get rewarded for bad behavior. And David over at Vanity's Image said something about women liking men who are the bad boys because it makes them feel something. This same thing is true when it comes to men. Men like crazy women that make them feel like 
that woman is that into them. Like that it's, if you reward that bad behavior, that's what you're going to get more of. It's true when you guys tell us that. So it's got to be true when you follow that same reasoning back the other way. Stop being all in the DMs of women who look a certain way. I promise it's supply and demand. As soon as you let the demand go down, as soon as you take texturism and colorism and all the other isms out, you're going to get a whole different race of women. And I always tell you guys that misogyny is just racism, sexy cousin. Because it's the same thing that's true. Every time we talk about what black people are and what they aren't, what they can't be, it's always because of racism. It's always because this ism came in and separated us from our identity and who we were and who we could be. And texturism is destructive to black women. Stop making who black women are about their hair. Y'all care way more than we do about it. If you got a problem with wigs and weaves, stop being in the DMs of women who wear them. And I'm talking about white women too. Okay? Because weave is not a black thing. Anybody that wants to go to the store and get a wig will get one and put them on. Even if said person is a man, they'll get a wig and put it on. So stop making this a black woman issue. Stop making this about our blackness when it's really just about desirability politics and y'all control the politics. We, every single president we have ever had in this country has been a man. Y'all control the science and women control the art. If you tell us this is what you consider to be beautiful, then that's the picture that we paint and draw for you. Trust me, I've been sitting over here dry, dry. And the crazy part about it is it's not even because I'm not cute because I know people be like, oh my gosh, don't feel like that. That's so not true. Uh, Y'all not going to put me in cognitive dissonance. I know the truth because I've been on the other side with straight hair swinging down my back and niggas climbing on it like I was Rapunzel. Lies. You're lying. But now everybody thinks I eat tofu, that I meditate, that, you know, I'm reading a book somewhere and I'm not the same freak I used to be when I was a city girl. (laughs) I'm not reformed because I changed my hair. Like, dudes be like, we don't like masculine women. Yes, the hell y'all do. Black men love being submissive. Stop stop lying to us about that, too. That's why y'all like white women. They used to be slave owners. And you really think that you're going to convince us that they are the subs in y'all's relationships? Go ahead and clock out for me. Go ahead and clock out. Y'all want to be a submissive. I know the truth. But my point is, let women be who they are. Let them wear what they want. Pick the ones you like and leave the ones that you don't alone. Texturism is harmful to the black female self-image. That's why I would never condemn a woman who's wearing her hair silk pressed. That is what a black woman can be. No other woman can be. Her hair can look like mine today and then look like she looks tomorrow. Her hair can look like mine today and then look like Becky's tomorrow. And you're not going to take that from black women. Just pick the ones that you like. And stop feeling like we owe it to y'all to be whatever you fantasize about today. Because mostly what black men, side note, mostly what black men fantasize about isn't what we are anyway. Isn't what we are anyway. So why should we be following these politics of dancing? This is ridiculous. How far stretched financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Like those little, um, 
what they call them, waist trainers and all that stuff that women be trying to wear just so that just so that a man will like them, will look at them, will want to talk to them. Listen, if I wanted the attention of men, I'd have to cut my locks off. I'd have to go unnatural. Because natural hair ain't what y'all telling black women it is. It ain't y'all jam. It ain't y'all jam. I know my DM is going to flood with me and be like, oh, no, no, no. I don't feel like that. I think it's beautiful. No, you think it's intimidating. Just like corporate America thinks it's intimidating when I walk in with my locks. Just like they think I was smoking weed or whatever the connotation is that comes along with having locks. If you want it, that's what it would be. So you got to start giving energy and life to the image of black women that you say you believe in. But if you creeping all in the DMs of these women that you get on these social media posts and condemn, you're a hypocrite and you're full of shit and you're getting what you deserve in black women because they be in the same two-faced whores that y'all are. Go ahead and drop a fire headphones emoji in the comments if you got something to say then go ahead and say it down there because i want all the rain i want all the pain and until the next transmission y'all can go ahead and clock out for me with that bullshit because y'all know for a fact that y'all are not rocking with black women in their natural hair it's making a comeback though black women y'all keep doing y'all thing y'all keep putting these afros on them you keep making these corporate jobs have to deal with you and your natural hair you do it it is a protest you're revolutionary when you're in your natural hair and you are a problem when you're not so you might as well do what you want to do I ain't mad at you. You are appreciated. Section leaders, what is our concept? One band, one sound. One band, one sound. <laughs>